Interstellar visitors. Surprisingly, our solar system is no stranger to them. It is estimated by astronomers that objects from outside of the solar system pass through it roughly once per year. Estimated, of course, because we didn't have powerful enough telescopes to detect them until very recently. The Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, or PANSTARS-1, in the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii is one such telescope, built to scan the sky for moving, unknown objects, as well as provide real-time astronomy for celestial bodies that we are already aware of. PANSTARS-1 has discovered more than half of all large near-Earth objects, called NEOs, like asteroids, and also comets. However, the telescope has also discovered something more foreign, and certainly more controversial, than comets and asteroids from within the solar system. On October 19, 2017, PANSTARS-1 discovered a solid metallic object passing through our solar system, with a velocity so high that it had to have come from interstellar space. Designated 1I-2017-UI, the object was the first of its kind ever to be observed by humans, and it behaved in a rather unusual manner. A manner that didn't make sense. Every time it was classified, 1I-2017-UI would exhibit a behavior that defied its classification, leaving scientists confused and without explanation. The way that it seemed to flaunt its mysteriousness would almost seem to suggest that it was sent to get humanity's attention perhaps even deliver a message. Mainstream, high-profile scientists are suddenly wondering if this object really was of extraterrestrial origin. This is the story of the object that would come to be called Oumuamua. Discovering near-Earth objects is epic work. But to the astronomers at the Haleakala Observatory in Maui, on the island of Hawaii, these discoveries are relatively routine. In 2018, the total number of known near-Earth objects grew to over 19,000, 9,000 of which had only been discovered since 2013, and over half of those recent objects were discovered by PANSTARS-1. Telescopes like this are the reason for that number having increased so quickly in recent years. Human scientific curiosity certainly contributes, but there is also a fairly practical reason to track and identify NEOs to make sure that none of the objects are going to interfere with or cause any damage to our satellites and our society. Most of the NEOs are asteroids, and a smaller percentage are comets. In mid-October 2017, however, the telescope detected something different. At first, its behavior and measurements classified it as a fast-moving interstellar asteroid, the first of its kind to be observed. Based on extreme but uniform fluctuations in the object's brightness, scientists concluded that it had a highly unusual aspect ratio of roughly 10 to 1. It was around 1 kilometer long and 10 times longer than it was wide, something that immediately made this object one of the strangest NEOs ever to be observed. It had a rocky, highly metallic content and was tumbling neatly end over end as it made its way through our solar system. This tumbling was not characteristic of asteroids or comets, but researchers still concluded that it was likely an asteroid. The discovering astronomers affectionately dubbed it a Muamua, Hawaiian for scout or first messenger, but it was officially designated A2017UI at the time. Astronomers expected that when they looked more closely at it, they would find a dry space rock like most asteroids in our solar system. Then, based on measurements, it was concluded that ice with organic elements similar to comets could exist beneath the seemingly rocky surface. Further analysis showed that a Muamua sped up as it led the solar system behavior typically observed by comets because of a process called outgassing. Being mostly ice, as comets approach the sun, that ice melts, and pockets of gas within the comet can be heated until they are expelled outward through holes in a pressurized stream. This is known to increase the velocity of comets approaching the sun, and is a product of the composition of comets. Thus, Oumuamua was redesignated C2017UI, and largely accepted to be a comet. However, as had become normal with the Muamua, new data seemed to confuse our understanding yet again. Though it was now popularly considered to be a comet, there was never any tail observed despite the fact that the object had just passed its closest point to the sun that September. A comet, which is mostly ice and displays outgassing, should have a tail formed by melting ice being expelled away from the sun. A Muamua not having a tail seemed to indicate that it was not a comet. And if it was not a comet, then it was not outgassing. And if that is the case, then what caused the object to speed up as it left the solar system? It made one wonder. To further support the idea that Oumuamua wasn't a comet, 
an astrophysicist by the name of Roman Rafikov at the University of Cambridge, has observed that if outgassing were the reason for the increased velocity of a muamua, then it would have also disrupted the object's uniform tumble, and this was never observed. Not only this, but if a muamua were an outgassing comet, then the acceleration and spin would have been too much for the object, and it would have broken into pieces. NEO distinction is not always as simple as comet or asteroid, and there is often nuance to the classification of these objects. But Oumuamua was clearly neither. Therefore, it was reclassified again, and finally, as I-2017-UI, the I standing for interstellar. Assumedly, this designation will be used for the discovery of future interstellar objects. If Oumuamua wasn't mysterious enough, there were of course those that speculated based on the highly unusual shape and its highly metallic content that it was some sort of alien vessel. Dramatic scenes were imagined of a grand derelict space station tumbling end over end through dead space, through what could have been millions of years, its crew long gone, and its original mission lost to the cold millennia. Images like this one would circulate on the internet drawn from the imagination and reaching into the imagination of others. It was not hard to lose oneself in the possibility that Oumuamua was, finally, confirmation of extraterrestrial life. And to the surprise of the UFO community, there were a great many scientists who agreed with them. Scientists were so excited at the prospect, it turns out, that they scanned the object with the radio telescopes from SETI, or the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, twice. Though there were no signals being sent by the object, at least none that had been successfully detected, many scientists still were not satisfied. Oumuamua was just too strange, it would seem, to write off aliens just yet. And so the UFO community continued to hold its breath, until their breath was taken away from them by astronomers at Harvard University, when they released a paper that suggested that Oumuamua could be a solar sail of extraterrestrial origin. Yes, it was certainly a new feeling to have scientists interested in the possibility that this was our first alien visitor, but it was something entirely different to have astronomers from one of the most prestigious universities in the world to come out in support of the hypothesis. For what absolutely felt like the first time, someone in a position of undeniable scientific authority was suggesting extraterrestrials. The study claims that all of the peculiarities of a muamua could be explained by the idea that it was a discarded solar sail. The increase in velocity could be explained as it was being pushed away by the sun as it traveled away from the solar system. A muamua's unusual shape could make sense if the sail were crumpled up or even rolled up as though it had yet to be fully deployed. The highly reflective metallic quality of the object would make sense. Considering concepts from NASA of solar sails are often made with highly reflective foil components. Furthermore, if the object were a solar sail, its tensile strength would make it stable enough to survive its high speed in rotation. Oumuamua was moving extremely fast. Its velocity was peaking around 87.7 kilometers per second, or roughly 195,000 miles per hour. It was this velocity that revealed the object's interstellar origins, and coupled with its rotation, it was very unusual that Oumuamua had not broken into pieces. And yet, the Harvard astronomers had even seemed to explain this. Other scientists expressed their skepticism, but no one has yet been able to rule out the possibility that Oumuamua was constructed artificially. Unfortunately, by the time this paper reached its peak in popularity, Oumuamua was long gone. Even more unfortunate is the fact that unlike normal comets and asteroids which can always be studied again when their orbit brings them back, Oumuamua is an interstellar traveler, and our solar system was just a small stop on its journey. In all likelihood, we will never see Oumuamua again. All of the data that we have on the object is all of the data that we ever will have. If Oumuamua was an ancient remnant of extraterrestrial construction, we may never know. We were lucky enough to have caught this fleeting glimpse at Oumuamua, and what it has taught us will hopefully prepare us to fully capitalize on and study interstellar objects in the future. Whether one believes that Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial solar sail, or a derelict space station, or just a very interesting space rock, it is clear that the closer we think we are to knowing the truth of our universe, the more we discover that there is to learn. Our understanding of the universe has been tested by space debris.
Often, our ability to use technology to see such incredible things in space can cause us to momentarily lose sight of how ultimately small and insignificant we are. However, Oumuamua reminds us once again that we are cosmic fleas using refractions in dewdrops to observe the actions of giants. No matter how powerful the lens through which we look, our scope will always be limited to our position in space and subject to the whims of the great celestial bodies of the cosmos. Goodbye, Amuamua, interstellar messenger. Consider your message received. Thank you for watching and listening. If you liked the video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, feel free to support me via Patreon. Links should be on the screen and also in the description down below.